Hello guys, today I want to show you how not to do things with Eloquent with two examples. Examples are based on one open source CRM, which I will not even mention the name because I don't want to be too negative attacking someone specifically, but in the dashboard of a CRM, there's one of the widgets is customers, showing how many customers are per week. So 1000 customers in our case are seated and look at the debug bar, 1000 queries. So I will show you three things in this video that are not done well. Two things related to the amount of queries and then one more kind of extra personal opinion on another query. So while debugging the query in the debug bar, I clicked it and it led to helpers dashboard file line 277, which is this array push underlined by PHP storm. It is suggesting different syntax. So let's replace that just to avoid the underlining. And then we have customer account. This project uses repository pattern, which I'm not a big fan of and have a separate video about why. So I'll link that in the description below why I do not advise to use repository pattern in this case. But if we go to that repository, there's get customer count which is this. Do you see what is wrong here? So the function that is supposed to return customer count actually returns all the customers and only then count comes from the collection. So if we have 1000 customers, there are 1000 queries to the database with more customers, more database queries. So that is one thing that is fundamentally wrong and the result doesn't change. If I remove that, save, I refresh the dashboard and now we have eight queries instead of 1000. But the underlying problem is not even this. It's about loading attributes for the customers with organizations. Let me show that to you. Let's go back to this syntax. And then customer is actually a person repository, which is like naming things probably could be better, but it's a person model, which has this and this syntax is a very convenient but very dangerous risky thing to do so with property allows you to automatically load the relationship of organization whenever that model is loaded it is convenient to not repeat loading the model when you actually need that but in this case we are counting the people the customers the person models we don't care about organizations so if we comment that out and leave that get count here and we refresh the page, we have still eight queries. So those thousand queries actually come not from customer, but from underlying with organization relationship. And that organization, by the way, looks like this. It's a belongs to relationship. So yet two things that are very fundamentally wrong. Do not do get count if you just need the count and then also do not use with automatically probably ever. In some very rare cases, it makes sense to automatically load all the time, but you never know what will be the case in the future, maybe by other developers, maybe when the project expands, and maybe in some cases you will not need to load that relationship, but it will be loaded anyway with performance issues. And then one more thing in the same project that I found for another widget, which is activities. The query looks like this in the dashboard, get activities, and it's a pretty long, interesting query to dissect. So two things here. First, select join group by order by and where. Is it just me? I personally prefer to have where conditions before group by and order by, meaning that it would mimic the actual SQL query. So we do select join then where conditions and only there group order and then get. To me, it's much easier to read like a typical SQL query. So that's one thing that I would change. And then also the actual SQL query, if we take a look at it, we go to activity Ajax call here and the actual query is this. Select activities, left join participants, where activities between. But we actually don't use those activity participants. We are joining them, but we don't actually calculate them. And this comes from where condition so that activity participants are calculated only in case of user permission being not global, which means permission just for the group and then activity participants comes in. But in our case, we're doing left join anyway. So that left join should be inside of that where. That's one way or another way to refactor that with condition is to use when condition on query builder. So we have when, then the condition should be if current user view permission is not global. So we can actually 
take that current user outside of the query because we will need that anyway and then we can do if current user view permission this condition then callback function with query as a parameter like this and only then we do query left join here so query left join with this at the end and then here since we don't have query user inside we need to add it use current user like this now if we reload the page that query the result is still the same but that query in activities ajax call does not contain participants anymore it would contain participants only in that condition case so yeah one kind of a small refactoring which does not have that huge impact but just for the sake of being correct query and not load separate table without the need kind of a cleanup in this video i wanted to emphasize the first two very bad examples of loading huge amount of data without the need what do you think have you done these mistakes yourself in the past probably you have the most important thing is to actually notice them debug them and fix them on time and if you want more tips about eloquent optimization and performance i have two courses on laravel daily one of the most popular ones is eloquent expert level here but also there's eloquent performance better eloquent performance so optimization of the queries is specifically the topic of that course i will link both of them in the description below that's it for this time and see you guys in other videos